know that sports are all about fair play and sportsmanship, but sometimes these athletes give in to their emotion and all hell breaks loose. Players and fans alike, welcome to the Celebrity Channel. This is our top 20 most aggressive moments in sports in 2020. Number 20. Aaron Aflalo v. Nemanja Bielica. Oh my oh, goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got, we got some, some heated exchanges going on here. They say that basketball is all fun and games despite body bumping. A little shove there, a little push. He faces him up and then just gets oh! into it. Oh! A flower with a full swing. Yeah, and then, and then here Belly's got He's going to break his neck. But sometimes your opponent won't take the gesture lightly. Just like what happened between Aflalo and Bielica. Number 19. Dax player grabbed by a fan. Just when you thought that you have the ball and the game is going on for you, just like this Jacksonville player. When he is about to catch the ball... He gets grabbed by a fan! Keep the football, but yet you gotta stay out of the field of play and he about rips a face mask. Well Number 18. CJ Watson and Nate Robinson. Part of defense in basketball is to try to steal the ball from your opponent. However, Watson did not appreciate the gesture. Everybody trying to get in between them. That escalated in a hurry. They've been banging and bumping since the first time they were entered into the game. In Number 17. George Galamaz. Galamaz was on the receiving end of a disgruntled fan of the opposing team. Supporter in Romania apparently angry at a dubious penalty decision ended in Stour Bucharest defender George Galamas. After he punched Galamas, the Petrolol Ploiesti supporter then started challenging other players. Number 16. Chris Paul v. Rahan Rondo v. Brandon Ingram. Fourth quarter is the most intense part of the game. Nerves and fatigue can take a toll on the player's patience. All right, there's the initial foul. Ingram's upset, pushes hard, and then Paul gets in the face. Rondo throws a punch. Paul throws a punch. Ingram comes in here. He throws a punch. Those three will be suspended for those punches. Number 15, fans versus fans. Sometimes fans can be sore losers and lose all sense of sportsmanship. In this next clip, we can see three Raven fans taking on a single Chiefs fan. We can't get up. Number 14, Lopez v. Ibaka. Sometimes fistfight can start for no reason at all. When Lopez and Ibaka lightly bumped to each other after a rebound, they just started punching each other. There it is. Both guys. Yeah, both guys landed punches. Number 13, Carlos Gomez v. Brian McCann. A homer will bring you lots of praise from your team and fans. But with your opponents, it pisses them off and they can't contain their frustration. Brian McCann didn't appreciate Gomez doing a home run and vented out. Shouting and taunting turned into a fist fight. Has not stepped on home plate. Nope, and Brian McCann did not allow him to get by him. I mean, it, it kind of got ugly very early. Number 12, players v players v fans. In this video, we can see NHL player Rick Ripien having a very bad day. On his way to the dugout after a fist fight with the opposing team, he had another scuffle with a fan. His teammates needed to intervene to prevent further physicality. Guys, watch what Ripon did. That fan should not have been kicked out of his seat. No, he did I nothing. Mean, All he's doing is clapping. Number 11, Draymond Green v. Brian Beal. Draymond Green is famous for getting on your nerves. Getting on his opponent's head is part of his game plan. Bradley Beal, in turn, seems to have a little patience when it comes to dealing with Green. Oh, wait, what was that? He got wrapped around the neck. I don't know whether he took an elbow first. Let's see, there, there are no punches there. They're just wrestling. The fight ends with Green's jersey ripped off. Number 10, Bryce Harper v. Hunter Strickland. Despite being unintentional, being hit by a ball traveling at 100 miles per hour triggered the lights out of Harper. And if that was unintentional, Hunter Strickland just totally lost his command. Number 9, Indiana Pacers v. Golden State. Sometimes when you're on the losing side and you've been trying to catch up to your opponent's score, tension will always brew between players. This is really out of hand over here, oh no. Let's clean this up, fellas. We'll clean this up. Number 8, Texans v. Saints. Whenever we hear the term body slam, we can only think of WWA. 
during a football game between Texans and Saints, Hopkins decided to body slam Williams. The other team didn't appreciate the gesture and the fight ensued. Hopkins does here at the end of this play as he up and over slams Marcus field. Williams. Number seven, team punches old man during US Open. It is tough to imagine that fights between fans in a tennis match will appear out of nowhere. <laughs> However, during the US Open, a young man allegedly dropped F-bombs to the audience, which in turn, the oldies didn't appreciate. Number 6. Zach Greinke v Ian Kennedy Another accidental pitch turned this game into an exchange of dirty plays. Both teams traded hit by pitches that erupted to a full escalated fist fight between two opposing teams. I think Kennedy's thrown out of the game. Wow. Now they're liable to get angry after that. Uribe is mixing it up a little bit. He's in the middle. Number 5. The Eternal Derby the Eternal Derby is one of the most intense scenes in sports, a soccer game where the fans compete and not the player. The tension between two opposing fans is so prevalent that hundreds of riot police are everywhere. Tourists flock derbies to experience the thrill and not the game itself. Clubs are so important to the ident identity of the city. But the whole country stops and watches the game. Number 4. First line turned to brawl. This next video is proof that a peaceful scene can turn bloody in an instant. At the very start of the game, Canucks and Calgary started throwing punches at each other. The fans went to see a hockey game, but the teams gave them a Royal Rumble instead. We haven't seen a brawl like this in a long time <laughs> we hit the National Hockey League level. Number 3. Real Madrid v La Coruna In soccer, you are always prone to get kicked all over your body. And it is no joke because we all know that soccer shoes have a spiked sole. In this next clip, we can see Morata being apologetic for hurting the keeper during a play, but Sydney doesn't want to accept the apology and starts throwing punches. And now Sydney not happy with the treatment his keeper is getting. Number 2. Bryce Harper v. Jonathan Papelbon What's amusing on this next clip is that Harper and Papelbon are teammates when Papelbon made a critical remark to his teammate Harper. The latter didn't take it lightly, and a fight ensues right after. See Papelbon saying, run the ball out, and Bryce saying, you gotta be kidding me. And then Papelbon went right after Harper. It's getting ugly, folks. There's no other way to put it. Number 1. Amir Garrett v Cincinnati During the ninth inning, we can see Amir Garrett having a serious talk with his teammate when suddenly he ran to the dugout of Cincinnati and started a fight. He probably heard something he did not like from Cincinnati's bench that added to his anger. Cincinnati returned the favor by giving what he wants, a fight. You could feel it brewing and brewing and brewing. Have you also gotten yourself in a fight while playing sports? Comment down below and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Celebrity Channel and hit that bell button to get notified for our new uploads.